You know, trying to... There is the Aki underwear. Kai, Kai Buddha swept the finals of Chicago, but that's the only, that only round he swept. That's your honor. Yeah. This is Mikey P. Ghostlit Raider. Wow. Oh my Turn God. three, Ghostlit Raider. This is nightmarish. Oh, pissing needle. <laughs> Cerrone rocks back in his chair. I think he thought he had it, but there's the answer. The one blue-green answer to Ghostlit Raider. Fujita. Calmly play, adds a child of thorns to his board. So look at her own smile. Huh. Fujita was down 2-0 in the quarterfinals. That's true. He was down 2-0. That's true. That's the point. His opponent thought he was won the Pro death. Tour. Well, he thought he'd won the quarterfinals. He thought he'd won a bigger house. He thought he'd won a new house. And uh, and then Shiroshi Fujita just came, somehow came back. Yeah, Ghostlet Raider is nothing but a dork to trade for Child of Thorns thanks to Pissing Needle. Actually, Cerrone really wants it in the graveyard so he can soldier sit back and use the channel ability. It's not like he actually needs that. Uh, <laughs> it's not like he's lacking, for instance, speed removal in his... Uh, He's like, there's the Shinnin that everyone's been talking about all weekend. Yeah. The green Shinnin with the lower ability. Guess Aki uh, Underling's going to have to come into the red zone here. So I'm sitting back and looking at the board. No attack. That's what he's gonna do. Tricky. And now uh Fujita has to be wary of a barrel down. Okay. Herzog, PT San Diego, nine and one. Says Grilla three. Oh, thanks, Grilla. My computer's acting very slow right now, so and someone, looks, someone points out there, I was wondering, that Pithy Needle does stop the channel as well. Oh, does it? Yes. Is that a harbinger of spring? Wow. That is not a card that sees an awful lot of play. Not a card. has got to read it. <laughs> I, I kind of need to read it myself. <laughs> it's protection from non-spirits, right? Solstice 4. That's a sideboard card. Yeah. I guess 15 crit. Hey, he kept Spellblade at bay. It's gonna. And it, you can't Honda it either, right? Honda is a non spirit. Oh, protection from non spirit creatures. So it'll last a turn and then get Honda away. It does have Soul Shirt, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's actually. It's funny, when we were in development of these cards, we discovered it's really hard to make a bad Soul Shirt card. Like, we try to have a curve yeah, where there's good cards and bad cards and then the middle cards, and it's like like crawling filth. Every we did, time we added a man in a crawling filth, we're like, but now you can get back scuttling that. We, we did a draft with Aiton and uh, Chambers and those guys on Wednesday night, and a Adam Chambers has an unnatural affection for crawling <laughs> filth. <laughs> he, uh, he gale he balls for Fujita. No, I think, I mean, the Soul Smith makes those guys playable. They're not good. You can make them mediocre, but it's hard to make them unplayably bad. I got scolded by Craig Edwards yesterday for not playing Ooh, my Ooh, he condens the scale bulk. He must have Yamabushi's flame in hand. And activates the spell blade. And then flames. Yup. RFG, smash. And, of course, Fujita had attacked with his 2-1 because he thought it was going to get Honda. Watch out, Nikolai. Here comes a 9-0. Fujita's digging for answers with a Cloud Skater, but I have no idea what answers he's going to find. Jeffrey Strong's deck just has everything. And look, he has sighted in the Plains and the Trashies grass, I assume. Sure. For the Hondans. That makes sense. Nine, He might also have those Heart of Lights. 
spring color and a promise Kanuchi for Fujita. He's looking, but I mean, great run, but looks like it may come up short, just like his run in Tokyo did. So I wanted to check. Then. By the way, Kiyoshi right. Fujita did not win any games in the finals of Pro Tour. He got swept by Zvi, right? He did get swept by Zvi. I see he lost. Zvi went nine and one in those finals, by the way. Oh wow! Zvi is on another nine and one in addition to Nikolai. Three zero, three one, three zero. Yep. Drop one game to Benefel. So nine one has been done a couple of times, but not nine to zero. Not that we found Not as poor could have saved the legacy of Zvi Mashewitz and uh, Nikolai Herzog. He, cer he certainly should have taken that game from from Jeffrey and, and fought, you know, fought, fought one more game. I mean, you know, as long as you have a, some life to work with, you know, you can win. You can you win one game, you win the next. You got to take them one at a time. You can't just assume you're going to lose the next two, even no matter how demoralized you are. How good do you think Cerrone is? I mean, is this a new superstar being born here? Second top eight of the year, I mean, a sweep. You got. He, he certainly. Got the Belgian national team to the finals to the finals at Worlds, and he set the pace. Uh, I, I think I think he's going to certainly be on a, a very short list of players to watch going into Los Angeles. That makes sense. Yeah. He and that's extended too, where his last top eight was. Right. He certainly moves top eight or extended to the top of the order. preview page. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And uh, I think this puts him like second-ish on the uh, second or year, third. Right? Second or third. Second or third probably gets him level five. So we'll be. So Gita's going to be up there right in the thick of it, too. I'm going to, it's going to be interesting to see how that math plays out. If we could call that up and do some math, but I don't think Cerrone's going to give us enough time, quite frankly. Not with my internet connection. Yeah, if this, if Cerrone holds on here, he'll get 25 points, and Fujita will get 20. Man, it's a totally dominating day. There's only Belgian one game where he's, there's only that one game where he hasn't seemed to be in total control. True. I mean, it's not just it's just not 9-0. It's you know it's 8-0 in right. Eight so Olivier got two points to get to 59. Daddyo got three to get to 50. So Fujita had 25. 25 more gives him 45. So he's he's right five up. Five back of second. He's in third if, with a loss here. And he's, uh, he's like 14 back, though. He's Olivier's got, got a decent lead. He's got Grand Prix Taipei coming up in, uh, <laughs> in a Yeah, but Olivier weeks. will be there, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll let you pick up four or five points. Fujita <laughs> 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 points out to Cerrone how Cerrone could have won that turn. I so how many points does Cerrone have? So. Pumping this bubble twice, if he'd gotten it through. Yeah. Cerrone has 19 points, so 25 would get him to 44. So he's actually one point behind Fujita. They're, they're in sort of 3 4 with Fujita having a one point lead on Cerrone. Well, you just said that. Uh, is it both? They both get 25 points? 25 and 20. 25 and 20. So you, you gave uh, Fujita 25 points and you added it. Did I? I believe so. No, he's at 25 right now. Oh, four, 20 is 45, right? Yeah, he's six points ahead of Cerrone, so he'll be one point ahead after this. Fosslin kills Cloud Skater. Doesn't even want to let Fujita dig. Is this it? Are we really watching 9-0? Child of Thorns comes down from Fujita. Cerrone untaps. Condens away the child. I think any spirit is, is game here. He is just looking. Captive Flame is also game here. Yeah.